This video is going to help you get signed up for Coinbase so that you can start using Bitcoins with whatever ventures you are doing online. This is going to help you to get signed up and it's going to help you get your back office configured to where everything is running e efficiently um, for you. You can also share this video with your with your referrals so they can get started as well. Now, this is uh, Coinbase is, is definitely a great uh, wallet to use uh, for the USA, for the United States people here. However, if you're in another country, you may want to consider blockchain or Zappo is another one. And there's a few other ones. Okay, so let's move right ahead. When you come to this page, and, and, I, and actually, if you're looking at this video, you're going to see the link to get started with this Coinbase below this video. So let's go ahead and get started. When you come to this page, you want to hit sign up. And it's going to take you to a page here where you put in your uh, first and last name, email, password, or state you're in where you live. I already have an account, so I'm not going to sign up here, but this is the information you want to put in. And you hit create account. Now, do not uh, be alarmed of this figure right here where it says one Bitcoin equals $403.43. And of course, and actually this does fluctuate. You're not going to have to pay a $403 to, to fund your Coinbase account. This is this is how much each Bitcoin is worth. Not so much of what you have to put into your Coinbase to get started. You can start, you can you can fund your Coinbase with as little as five dollars, a dollar, ten dollars, twenty dollars, up to you. But do not be alarmed by this because you're not going to have to put in $403 per Bitcoin to to, to get started here so just want to give you a heads up there now so what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead and sign in since I'm already signed up and I'm going to put my email in I mean well my email is there I'm going to put my uh, my password in it's already in there I'm going to log in okay I got to put this code in here So it's going to log me in. Okay, this is the back office right here. Now, first things first, you want to go ahead and tie in your bank account. You want to tie in your bank account. The reason for that is when you start getting paid in here, when when you start when you start to get bitcoins in here, I'm pretty sure you want to get it to your to your bank account. I'm sure you want to turn those bitcoins into a dollar so that you can use it. Now you may want to save some bitcoins in here uh, due to the value of bitcoin as it does fluctuate but it it tends to spike up and sometimes it goes down. It's kind of like a kind of kind of wavy at times, you know. So it's all up to you. And let me just kind of explain this over here a little bit. Uh, the BTC wallet is the most important, uh, most important aspect over here. Okay, do not worry about the USD wallet. This is completely different. But the BTC wallet is what we are interested in. So as you can see, I don't have any money in here. I transfer. I either sell the bitcoins out of here or transfer it straight to my bank account. So that's why you don't see any money here at all. Now, to configure your bank account, to make sure your bank account is configured in here, you want to come to your name right here and you want to click on settings. Now, from here, and you can go through these tabs right here, but we're going we're interested today in this tab right here, payment methods. I also advise you to put some type of security on your Coinbase wallet. As you can see, when I went the first time I logged in here, you saw I had to get a text message to put in a code. That is very important, okay? So I advise you to uh, to get your security on there. You can check out preferences as well. But we're interested right now in payment methods. So we're going to click there. Okay, as you can see, I already have my... Uh, my bank 
set up here. It's already verified. And to, to get to add your bank, what you want to do is click over here where it says add payment methods. Click right there. And you want to click right here for bank account. Click right there. Choose your bank. Choose your bank. If your bank is not listed here, you can pick other bank. Now, you're going to need to do this with either one of these, actually, in this one. You're going to need your bank account number and your routing number. So I'm just going to click other bank. And you see you got checking, you got savings, you got business checking. So you put your routing number in here, your account number, your name. And it actually shows you an image of how everything, uh, how to find these numbers right here on this uh, example check right here. So make sure that you check the right thing up here. If it's checking, savings, business checking, you know, you want to put those things. And then you just link it to your, then you're going to, then once all that's done, it's going to be linked to this account. You hit next, right? Once you put this stuff in here, you hit next and follow the steps the fastest way that I've seen to uh, get your account verified because what's going to happen is when you when you click here say you don't have another bank which uh, hopefully you have your bank with one of these and, and I'm going to I'm going to click here because I do bank with Bank of America but my account is not tied in here I got my uh, other other account tied in here if you if you uh, log in here with your you need your bank information to log in here. You need to log in with your bank information and you hit next and follow the steps and you will be verified immediately. This is this is very secure. You don't have you don't you don't need to worry about any fraud or anything like that. If you do this, it will verify you immediately. Then you can start to buy some bitcoins from your bank account. So either way either way you do it um, you need to verify your bank account now once your bank account is verified you want to buy you want to buy bitcoins inside of here the easiest way to do it which is going to take about three to five business days to hit your account you want to come over here to buy sell Bitcoin click right there okay now you want to buy bitcoins that's exactly what we want to do so you put the usd amount right here you put the usd amount right here and hopefully your your account is is verified well it needs to be verified before you do this so say i put uh 20 bucks in here okay come down scroll down okay so all you do is put 20 bucks it's going to automatically calculate it in bitcoins for you so you don't have to worry about that payment method make sure this says buy not sell you going you buying bitcoins scroll down and you hit buy bitcoins instantly and what's going to happen is you've come back to primary wallet here it's going to show here it's going to say the amount of time that it has left that you have left for the bitcoins to hit your account usually four to five business days four to five business days and this is what you want to do now I've had questions of people uh, uh, ask me Ontarian how do I transfer bitcoins once I have bitcoins in my account how do I get those back to dollars back to my account Great question. You come straight back again. You need to have your big your your uh, bank account verified to do this. To buy bitcoins, you need to have your your bank account verified inside of here. To sell them, which is you're transferring the bitcoins into dollars again to your bank account, you need to have your bank account verified. So you come back here to buy sell bitcoin, and you want to. You want to transfer those bitcoins over back to your bank account. You say you have, uh, say you have eight hundred dollars USD in here, right? That's uh, what a little bit over two bitcoins. Say you want to get that to your bank account. 
right here says buy. We don't want to buy if you want to transfer it to our bank account. You want to hit sell right here. You want to hit sell Bitcoin right here. Sell Bitcoin. Make sure it says it right here. You want to put the amount, you know, say you had $800. Okay, it's going to, yes, it's saying that because I don't have it in there. That's true. This is just an example. Training video. Payment method, yes. You should have your, um, you should have your uh, bank account in there. Okay, verified. It's going to automatically calculate it for you here in BTCs or Bitcoins. You scroll down and you hit sell Bitcoin. Now, when you go back to your primary wallet, when you go back to your primary wallet, it's going to say the amount of time you have left for those Bitcoins or that to, to go into your bank account as dollars, as U.S. dollars. OK, so that's it, folks. That's the that's the, as simple as I can. I can uh, explain it to you and you can go back and look at this video anytime, of course.